docking procedure is complete. Even without life, there is the potential for beauty. Captain, greetings. I should have known it. There's no hole deep enough, no rock desolate enough that Gal Bank won't find you in time. If you're here for payment, I've got none to give. Sold everything to retire comfortably in obscurity. I spent my life trying to get ahead. No matter how much I tried, it never took. So, these past few, I've just been barely scraping by. The marks keep getting younger, and my ship just keeps getting older. <laughs> At a certain point, I, I knew the game was rigged. So I maxed out my limits and headed off. As you can see, I'm, I'm not looking to live a life in luxury, just a simple, quiet life. I believe you. Not that it matters. Listen, I won't go peaceful, and I can't pay you. So the way I see it is you have a choice. We fight and see who's lucky. Or dead. Or maybe you leave here. Say it was a bum lead. It happens from time to time. Give an old fellow a peaceful retirement. Well, I maxed out my credit limit. So... 10,000 credits. I mean, with all the interest payments I've made over the years, Galbank still made a profit off me. scrapes than I could count. It's just gathering dust now. You deserve it. 
I don't know if my life was worth saving, but you did it anyway. Done. There you are. The hell took you so long? It's about time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. That's it. Go. Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew, it better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbang transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbang ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbang covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten. It wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. How do we know if someone else has, has already found the legs? Because they would be rolling in so much cash, there is no way they could keep it quiet. It's like hitting a jackpot. Not to mention, they'd need someone with Shinya skills to keep the crypto tracing on the currency clean. And as far as Galbank goes, I doubt they would bother. Their bean counters would be too busy weighing the loss versus recovery costs. No, the legacy is out there, just waiting for us to find. I can feel it. So the legacy is real after all. And the recording that you found proves that it is out there. All we have to do is find it. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbag ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay Dios mío, will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard, which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Galbank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration, and I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it off Suvorov in one piece. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner. The Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Hey, I want to talk to you. Thanks to you, Delgado's cutting me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet, because I'm coming after you. Oh, you stay here just to say goodbye? I stayed to give you a message that you better start looking over your shoulder. You'll never know when I'll be right behind you, ready to pull the trigger. Now get the hell out of me way! We'll have the whole settled systems on the run someday. There you are. All right, look. 
I've been lining up a score with that asshole roll call from the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're gonna finish the job for me. Kov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're gonna give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the Siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. I'll get you the damn Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the Siren and bring me my goods. So how did it go? Are you surprised to see Frankly, me? it's because we've never gotten this far before. The last agent I sent to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet ended up in a morgue on New Atlantis. I have been second thoughts, but I infiltrated the Crimson Fleet. You stop now. Delgado will make it his life's work to hunt you down and kill you. Not to mention the fact that you could potentially jeopardize the intelligence operatives we have in the field. Lieutenant Toft is correct. I'm sorry, but there is no turning back. That being said, I believe you should be proud of what you've accomplished. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Yeah, I was searching for something. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Sorry or not, Delgado belief, believes he's real. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a Gal Bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Gal Bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. I will proceed as planned. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. It's good to have you back. What can I do for you? Excellent. Let me have it, and I'll upload it to our database. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. 
It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full-blown fairy tale. Have any more? Okay. You have your orders. Well, this is not good.
The spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. to the main deck. Is there anyone alive down there? I don't know, man. I can't hear anything. Those crabs are just gonna keep coming. Where the hell are they coming from? We checked the ocean. There's no life down there. I think we brought them up here. What? Yeah. You know that barrier we've been trying to punch the drill through for the past week? Well, this morning we broke through. 
But it wasn't oil that came up. It was those creatures. I was here in the control room. Hundreds of those creatures climbed out of the drill too. Oh shit. That was the explosion? Yeah. Spoils of victory, I suppose. They know their messy glory. Time to push some G's. We know this planet, we know we don't need suits. Ship.
eliminate me. Fuck, I miss. To say, I thought there would be a chance to speak to him, to, to make what? amends, or at least to hear him curse me for leaving him. I was prepared to accept that. I did not think I would find him like this. At least these vermin didn't get him. He's been gone for... Well, clearly it's been some time. Look around. There will be correspondence from Jada Wong, I am sure of it. This cannot all be for... for nothing. I don't understand what's going on. Maybe you can tell me. You found something. Please, let me see it. <sighs> I should have guessed. Jada was always the one to run towards trouble. Of course she would still be doing it now. In her own way. She went hunting the sea lots. Where are the odds? She's still alive. She has been for as long as I have known her. Jada was younger than some of the other smugglers we contracted. There was concern she would be unreliable. As time went on, we called on her more and more often, eventually relying on her almost exclusively. She was sharp, a skilled pilot and very, very determined. Always talking about her big plans for retirement, how she would live like a queen. I... I'm not surprised that she would desire revenge. But to go this far, we need to find her. But before we go, I have discovered something else. And I do not know what to make of it. Aaron was composing a reply to Jada, but never sent it. It reads as if he was expecting the zealots to find him. That they knew where to look for him. He built this place to hide from them? And yet we found them here searching for him. How did they know? What bothers me though is that he mentions a name he should not know. Tommy Sarkadik. You have to explain this to me, I'm lost. Yes, I'm sorry. For all of my assignments in the Settled Systems, Tommy Sar has been my link to House Baroon. From him, I have received my orders, and he is the person to whom I have reported my success. He does not work with anyone outside House Baroon, and I am the only one who knows how and where to find him. Aaron should never have heard of him. Sounds like someone hasn't been telling you everything. Perhaps. He could have reached out directly, but 
That would be a surprising breach of protocol. We must first make sure that Jada is safe, and perhaps she will be able to shed light on this. Let us head for the den. We will speak again. I am sure. Time to leave this place behind. I find that very hard to believe. The time was this place would be full of pilots, soldiers, and none of us. I'm looking for Jada one. That's so. Vanguard it would pilot. Seem more a pretty good one from what UC I hear. Simply Got shut down this entire though. station. You could always ask the other Vanguard pilots. Or since you're already here, I do happen to offer services in exchange for payment. One of those services can be information. You get what I'm saying here? Isn't this extortion? No, not at all. There's got to be coercion for it to count as extortion. This is just good old-fashioned business. Then I will tell you that I happen to overhear she's out in the Groombridge system. And from what I hear, Reyna ain't happy about it. And our little transaction here is concluded. Pleasure doing business. I need to talk to you in person. I don't know you, and we don't have anything to talk about. You are interfering with an official Vanguard operation, so I'm going to need you to vacate this orbit immediately. Oh, shit! I've got multiple ships inbound. Too late to run. Sure hope you're prepared for a fight. Andrea is trying to wake, make up for what happened just Ten years after the fact? With nothing in between? You will have to forgive me if I find that hard to believe. Suspicious, even. <sighs> Look, my grab drive is fried. I need time to repair, if I can even manage it. You didn't take the opportunity to blow me up. So either that's not your goal, or you're playing some long game. <coughs> you wanna <coughs> explain yourself? I can't stop you from coming over here. But I'm gonna be armed, and it's gonna be aimed at her head. Just so we're all clear. So we're all clear. How 
can you possibly show your face? I am glad to see that you are safe, Jada. I am sorry if... if this is difficult for you. Difficult? Are you serious right now? You set us up, killed my friends, and then a decade later you show up like nothing happened? Have you lost your mind? Set you up? I... I never... I was not behind that. It was zealots, you know that. We were all attacked. Don't bullshit me. Not now. And who the hell are you? Her backup dancer? We're just here to check on you. Make sure that you're alright. Okay. Clearly I'm fine, relatively speaking. You've got some explaining to do, though. What are you doing here with her? You don't look like Varun to me. So I went after the Zealots. And then I found out the truth. Your damned High Council. They knew. Told the Zealots where to find us. That's not true. That cannot be true. Oh, it is. How? How do you know this? If you have proof, I need to see it right now. You don't get to demand anything of me, Andreja. I know what I've seen! If you're so sure about this, then let's see the proof convinces. I... I don't have... It doesn't work like that. I've put things together over the years. Slates, communications, interrogations. A name, Jada. Give me a name. You must have heard one by now. Thomasar! Thomasar Kadik! That's the bastard from the High Council who's been helping the Zealots! And did you hear this from Aaron? Aaron? What? No! I haven't talked to him in a year. What do you know about it? Jada, I swear on the serpent himself, I would never betray you. I need time to make this right. Can we go somewhere and talk? I am not giving up on this! I've tracked them this far, and I'm going to see this through! You want your proof? Well, they have it! So... <laughs> you think... Finally! you <clears throat> responsible for the ambush! If you're not lying to me, then you better help me take him down! Otherwise, I'll just have to destroy you both! Get back to your ship! ...has truly blessed my ship. Hey, Captain. Courage. Need help with anything? The awful that escaped our righteous justice. Your pathetic High Council, who betrayed the charge laid upon them by the Great Serpent, gave you over to us to atone for their sins. It always hurts me that you escaped. Now, the serpent sets my mind at ease, and in his name, I will cleanse your filth from this universe. Do not understand. It cannot be possible that the High Council would betray us like that. He must have been lying. Seem pretty sure of himself. The zealots have interpreted the teachings of Jinan Varun in the most hostile way possible, and are convinced they are the only true followers of the Great Serpent. They have always been certain in their beliefs and actions does not make them correct. Something about this does... does not feel right. This message... the code at the bottom... <sighs> I have seen this before. 
I know where we need to go. I must explain. House Barun values secrecy above nearly all else. Those of us sent out into the settled systems, we cannot return. Maybe they can make an exception to clear this up. No, you do not understand. When we are assigned a mission, we are taken to a point outside of House Barun's domain. We do not jump ourselves. We are never given the coordinates for Varun Kai, our homeworld. We literally cannot return. Only a select few are ever trusted with that knowledge. I can never go home. Unless I am permitted. Perhaps there is. I cannot travel to my home, but I can reach out another way. But... It means putting you in danger in a way you have not been before. I cannot say for certain what will happen. Thank you. That means a great deal. There is an old derelict star station where I may get answers. I know that seems... vague. It will become clear when we arrive. Yes, perhaps this is of use to you. Still is. How do you know anyone else still alive? I do not know, not for sure. I did not see them fall that day, and... I suppose I have hoped they survived. I admit, I have not investigated before now, at least in part because of what I feared I might learn. Very well. We will speak again. Say again, there is danger for you here. These stations were built by the United Colonies during the Serpent's Crusade. If there is something I can do, please, say so. Before we go any further, I cannot stress this enough. Keep your weapons at your side. Do not make any sudden moves. Do nothing to appear hostile. is the only place I can get answers. The only connection I have to House Barun. Please give me a moment. There we go. I am not the one who needs to explain himself, Tommy Sar. I'm surprised by your tone. What has gotten into you? This is very unlike you. Almost insubordinate. I know what you have done. The messages you sent. You are not making any sense. Of course I sent you messages. That is how this works. That is how it has always worked. Not to me! To the zealots! To the fanatics who murdered my friends, who tried to murder me! You must be mistaken, or perhaps confused. Nothing like that has ever happened. Enough! I have the transcripts, Tommy Star. 
You did this. You told them where to find us. Now, let's just take a moment. No one wants to make accusations they might regret. You. You are from that constellation group. I've heard all about you. You have turned her against me, filled her head with lies. This will not be allowed to stand. You know nothing of it! I said enough! This is between you and me. This has gone far enough. Talk some sense into her at once. Neither of you would dare lift a finger against me. Against House Varun. You can just keep lying. I have already said this is a misunderstanding. You're in a pretty bad position here. No, no. If you let Andreja hurt me, I am her only link to the High Council. To House Varun. Without me, she can never return home. You must make her listen to reason. He is responsible. He deserves to die. Did you not hear me? You do this, you lose everything! I heard you. I know what it costs me. But... He deserves it. Does he not? If you do this, there are consequences. I have been betrayed. Why should I care anymore? The only thing keeping him alive right now is... I know that if I do this... I lose my home. Probably forever. I do not... I do not know what to do. He's not worth it. You will lose too much. I know. I want to so badly. I do not know how to live with this. Consider yourself fortunate. You get to live. This... this is not over. The High Council will hear of your treason. Perhaps they will hear of your actions as well, Tomisar. Think on that. Come. Let us leave this place. We're free and clear for flight. Jump spinning down. Will you just look at those stars? Hear about the siren of the stars. All right, let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. Good day, Captain. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Why follow the Gallus' orders if you're not in the Queen's Because the only way to achieve a win is by agreeing to play the game in the first place. Worst case scenario, I don't make the fleet, but I end up a couple thousand credits richer. That's almost a win-win, a don't you think? So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? 
Gal wants the Ruski Gal Bank crash. His credentials. So you're hitting the Gal Bank branch in New Atlantis. Nice score, very lucrative and very dangerous. If you're going after a gold mine like that, I'll want to come along for the ride. Or you're not getting near Dombrowski. It would seem we have little choice in the matter. We should hear him out. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh no. Is shooting everyone an option? Alternately shooting ourselves to avoid it? If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Good luck. So where were we? You see the temperature reading. There's nothing quite like the view from the Starview Ballroom. It's breathtaking. Lovely party, isn't it? Nothing but the finest at this gala. to have you aboard. Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. If the rest of this ship is any indication, I imagine there is an incredible amount of wealth stored in there right now. Sir, are things with confidence in your safe? Oh, absolutely! The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damage resistant <laughs> vacuum-proof plating. In the unlikely event our vessel is boarded and the threat detection alarm is triggered, the safe will be permanently sealed until it reaches port. In the even more unlikely event this ship is destroyed, we can assure you that your loved ones will be able to recover your goods from the wreckage. So, as you can imagine, your property will be completely secure until you decide to retrieve them from our safe. 
Have a safe journey. So this is where the good stuff is. Good to know. If this is not the very definition of decadence, I do not know what is. I think we're gonna check this guy. Bar would have been nice, but Trident's gout. We need to know more about the Earth Savior War. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? You must be nervous keeping something so valuable in your cabin. In my cabin? Oh, please. <laughs> Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Andy at all times, or you won't have access to the ballroom. Please remain in designated passenger areas at all times. Here for business or pleasure? Hello. Are you a member of the society? I certainly hope. The you think about Larry? Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Do you have any information regarding the Earth Savior Award? This is going to be the ninth Earth Savior Award ceremony. But the first time it's ever been held aboard a Starliner. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. Yeah. Pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I don't know why Larry's attending this event. He could care less about any planet, let alone the Earth. The society chair has really... He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Now what? Can you tell me about Claudia? Claudia Swift is a low-level employee at Gold Bank, barely holds a decent security rating there, so there's not much to tell. 
Her cabin was paid for by Dombrowski, and she's been hovering near him ever since they boarded the siren. Normally that wouldn't raise any eyebrows, but the fact that Dombrowski's married to someone else, that changes people's perception just a little bit. Can you tell me about your work? As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Sheila told me the award is being kept in the pursuer's office. Then that makes things more complicated. Mm. Okay, don't bother talking with the ship's purser. Without a claim ID, you'll never get to the award. There's no way around it. You're gonna have to get the ID off of Sheila. Here, give her this. I'm certain it will help. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is gonna set off the ship's alarms. Go to something useful. Okay? Interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Did your claim ID for the air saver or... Excuse me? If you don't, I'll personally score you to the nearest airlock. Okay, there's no need for that kind of talk. I'm sure we can work something out, right? Here, take it. Take it, and go. Do I know you? There's no harm in a friendly little chat between two people. Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. I'll bet Galbank will love to know about your affair with... <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works, so let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? Trade this for everything you have under rust. No, I should have destroyed that disgusting letter. Fine. You win. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. I do not understand. Your anger is focused on Mr. Dombrowski, but clearly the failure of this plan rests on you as well. If you had to work near him day in and day out, I think you'd understand. He's a disgusting pig, plain and simple. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. It was the Dombrowski and Vera's contribution to the Galbank scheme. What, are you writing a damn novel? Vera works for UC Security, so he kept a lookout on their comnet for any Galbank chatter. I guess you could call him our early warning system. And Dombrowski made sure that all of the crypto manipulation I was working on didn't turn up in Galbank's automatic audits. You need top clearance for that kind of access, so we had to cut him in, whether we liked it or not. I hope you hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. Broski, uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry, I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Claudia Swiss says you have information about Larry. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. 
Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. We both know exactly who you are. Maybe I'll hunt any evidence I have to the authorities. <laughs> Just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? You. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. But it's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. We will until he returns to his cabin and falls asleep. Maybe. But if something goes wrong and he's able to raise an alarm, we're sunk. With all of these wealthy patrons aboard, the ship is crawling with security. Maybe an emergency. Smart. Emergency. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to temper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls, and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Your lack of commitment does not exactly fill me with confidence. Are you sure this is a good idea? Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. Remember, the moment you shut down that system, the entire ship goes into lockdown mode. Rokov is one of the most easygoing COs I've ever worked under. In fact, he doesn't act much like a captain at all. This is one of Trident's top of the line vessels. This is well maintained, to be sure, but obviously the credits have all been spent on the areas the guests actually see. Uh, hey, uh, uh, hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second, you're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry, that area is off limits. No exceptions. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'm so bored down here. I've been counting the deck plates just to take up some time. Tell you what, I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Be out of the job.
your attention, please. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive... Much nicer in here now. Plenty of room. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Yes. Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it. That means my money's already gone. And the Brusk is going to walk away with a fortune. I'd love to see the bastard fly. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. At least I walk away with something. All right. You have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter All into some sort of May negotiation. I have your attention, please. The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion <laughs> and remain oh, there until receive my misguided friend. There's a bargain that needs to be hammered out, and you will listen to the facts before we proceed. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor, hmm? Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. I pride myself on having an intensely thorough education, though I'd hardly call myself a professor. <laughs> though I'm sure that your compliment also meant you were having trouble understanding what I've been saying. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Will there be much more of this? My head is starting to hurt. Sounds like we have a deal for us to avoid any further contact.
Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. You must be joking. After this little stunt I helped you pull, I'm certain Trident's going to rip up my captain's contract. I've got nowhere else to go, so I'm fully expecting that you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover Beach. Hello. Welcome to the... <clears throat> the uh, Galbank Archives. May I see your credentials, please? Die today. Winner takes all these difference, is it not? that not every meter of land was plowed under to build this city. This tree is far too great. Have you paid a visit to Miss Kessler in Aquila City? Well, I'm sure she'll get over it. Or perhaps you could simply avoid Aquila City. Maybe the entire Free Star Collective. No great loss there. Now, I just need a moment to analyze this and synthesize an audio response to our friend here. All right. 
So we'll feed in a sample. Now the program will incorporate the genetic and chemical makeup of the sample, extrapolating the size and structure of the original tree. This was put together rather hastily, so complete accuracy is impossible. And there it is. Our best hope for a positive solution to this mess. I have no doubt that you will. Always good to speak with a friend. I hope you can find a way to broadcast that audio. Favor in all things. Thank you for coming back here with me. I fear that after all that has happened, I am unsure of my place in House Barun. This room may now be the only place I have left to call home. It is reassuring to hear you say that. But still, I worry that I have made a mistake. What if Tommy Sar betrays me to the High Council? What if he turns House Varun against me and I am cut off from them forever? It might not be enough. I may have miscalculated. I do not know how to live without some connection to House Barun. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. What... What if I have lost that? Connection to House Barun. The Great Serpent has always been a guiding force in my life. The force that drives all that I do. What... What if I have lost that? Yes, that is true. Whatever else has happened or will happen, the Great Serpent still holds a purpose for me. You have been by my side through all of this, the most turbulent time in my life. And you have supported me, faithfully. I have never been able to count on any single person the way I have with you. If I am repeating myself, you will have to forgive me. I just... I cannot overstate what it means to me. <laughs> I have never had a best friend, but I believe that sounds right. So if we are to be best friends, then I shall do everything I can to be there for you in the way that you have for me. How can I sit here feeling sorry for myself when there is so much for us to do? I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. All right, fine. I need your help. It's about an artifact. And our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. 
It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. It. I'm already seeing reductions in the strength of the vibrations. The tree is calming down. I can hardly believe that worked. I don't know. We've been in uncharted territory this whole time. That doesn't stop now. With the immediate crisis hopefully over, I can slow down and review everything we've learned. And certainly, I'll be keeping a much closer eye on our friend going forward. And you, you have saved this tree and advanced our scientific knowledge of our environment. Noble work across the board. You have my gratitude and that of every citizen in New Atlantis, though they don't know it. Awaiting your orders, Captain. We are cleared for liftoff. 